Hey, check it out. It's the new Mach 4 mod helmet from 509. This helmet was announced back in April, and now they're shipping out. And the Mach 4 comes with the mod name. Mod because it's modular. But you didn't come here to see my face. Anyway, it flips up, easier to put on and on. Of course, a great thing for touring. Comes with interchangeable visors that you can order online with different colors. You do need a screwdriver or maybe a coin to take this off because it's part of the whole hinge mechanism. So it's not hands-free, but it's not hard to do at all. Has a front vent that has a couple different settings. So one notch, two. Uh, top vent as well, and then you've got some passive vents on the back that help suck air out. Also, like a lot of other modular helmets, it has the drop-down visor as well. Cool. And, of course, a helmet is not complete without your very own Cardo Systems unit. I am currently running the Talk Edge. If you need a communicator for your helmet, go check out cardosystems.com. And at checkout, use promo code Ghost on Two Wheels. My name, just all one word, Ghost on Two Wheels, for your maximum discount. And you may want to hold off until July because that's when the Pack Talk Pro is hitting the market. It was just announced. A lot of advanced features, even over the edge. The edge is an awesome unit. This is even one step above that. You've got crash detection so that it can reach out to your emergency contacts in the event of a crash. It also has the auto on and auto off features. So if you set your helmet down, the unit will turn itself off. And then when you pick it back up, it says, hey, I'm moving, let's turn back on. You don't know how many times I've been trying to play something on my phone and I don't hear it. I find out it's playing in the speakers in my helmet. It happens. But let's get back to this helmet. This helmet, again, just came out at 509.com if you want to check it out for yourself. Modular helmet is the is the epitome of a touring helmet. So you can pop it open, get your snack, take a drink, whatever you need to do without actually taking the helmet off. With an internal sunshade that just easily drops down. Uh, you've got interchangeable visors that you can pop on and off. I uh, just need a small tool. One cool thing I do like about that, it's underrated, but I noticed it and I like it, is it has tabs to lift it up on both sides. Sometimes it's on the left because they think, oh, your throttle hand, and you'll be lifting it up. If you all pop it up when you're at a stop, but you gotta use your left hand to hold in the clutch lever. Yeah, so now either way, it's a little thing, but it makes such a big impression. This comes in a couple different colorways. There's also a gray, and then there's also the Renegade, I think it is. Check out Ride 509. I'm going to have to spend some good time breaking this thing in. It's It feels pretty good, actually. Uh, typically, with my big head, I do need to give a helmet a good amount of time to kind of break in <laughs> for my head. So that's what I need to do now. So this is uh, only the second ride I've been on with this helmet. So it's breaking in. It's starting to feel better and better. So far, I kind of like it. I like the appeal of the modular helmet. This is the first modular helmet I've had. And so, I mean, how just to pop this thing up when you're just chilling. That's what I need to do. But again, you probably didn't come here to see my face. So let's go to cool mode again. All right. So now we can just get ready to hit the trail. And the wind noise isn't too bad from what I can tell so far. Uh, I still am wearing earplugs. I recommend always wearing earplugs in your helmet no matter what, take the edge off of that wind's noise that can just slowly aggravate you over time. And then you just, you know, turn up your cardo unit and you can still jam out to music, talk to your friends, make phone calls, get directions, all sorts of things. But uh, yeah, I really like what 509 is doing. I'm glad to be partnered with them. They're doing some good things, uh, advancing the gear in the motorcycle segment of what they're doing. So they just had a fresh gear drop, and I'm really liking it so far. So go check it out. And uh, let's just hit the road, shall we? A yee -haw. All right, so cruising along here. I'm not hearing too much wind noise, but again, I do have earplugs in, which you should always have that. I've got my top vent open and I've got my front vent open as well. 
and I can I can hear the wind, but it's not like very very loud. But the most important thing is I need to get home before I need a clear visor because I don't have it with me. <laughs> I will say that with these uh, modular helm, of course, when you flip it up, it does kind of look a little dorky sometimes when it's flipped up. But the convenience of that when you need to take a break, get a snack, get a drink, and not having to pull a helmet off and put a helmet back on, I mean, that's going to be super convenient, you know? <laughs> it's it's kind of like a top case on a bike. Looks dorky sometimes, but it's so dang convenient. It's a great thing to have. This helmet is coming in right around the uh, three hundred dollar mark, I think, just under. Yeah, there could be more premium motorcycle helmets out there. I mean, of course there are, but th you're getting a good bang for your buck with this one as well. So I can recommend that. Um, and, and again, that's also why I'm a right ambassador for them. Yes, they are hooking me up with some gear to wear it and tell you all about it, but isn't that what you do with stuff that you like? I mean, don't you want to partner with the things that you like? Kind of funny, though, that I started with the Mach 5 Commander, and now this is the Mach 4 that just came out. Maybe it was in development before the other one. I feel like I just need to continue to work my way backwards and go get the Mach 3, which is a carbon helmet. It's going to be much lighter. I'll have to talk to him about that. <laughs> uh, and just for a question about fitment, uh, I got a large in the Mach 5 Commander, so I ordered a large for the Mach 4, and that's what fits me. It does seem just a smidge more snug. It's also brand new, and it's going to break in, but I feel like it's going to be just fine. All right, so anyway, I need to get on back home. Uh, so thanks for letting me take a few minutes. And thank you for taking a few minutes to let me talk about my new helmet. You'll probably see it in other videos coming up, and I'll probably do a longer-term review. But if you have questions about it, drop it down below. Check out the links for yourself for this helmet uh, and for other stuff from Ride 509. See if it strikes your fancy. Or I don't know what else would be stricken. How do you strike a fancy? I don't have a fancy. I don't know how you even strike it. it. Floats your boat? Do you have boats? You know what I mean. Anyway, if you're interested also in a Cardo system for your helmet, check out the link in the description and use promo code Ghost on Two Wheels at checkout for your maximum discount. Yes, get one. In fact, I'm going to use mine on the rest of the way home, but I'll see y'all on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all ride safe, yo. Hey, Cardo, music on. Music on. Mm -hmm.